Hi, I'm Richard Jackson, and I'm a professional celebrity impersonator. Kind of started a few years ago whenever I went out to L.A., to Hollywood. Um, I visited the Grauman's Chinese Theater, and I noticed that there were a lot of uh, celebrity impersonators, and all the tourists were just giving out wads of cash to all these people just for taking pictures with them and I was just like man that looks like a really easy job um you know everybody always told me that I looked like Aaron Gillespie which you know of course he's you know he's like the best drummer ever and you know he plays for Under Oath so originally I the, like the original plan was to go out and you know impersonate there at the Grommans w with everybody else but then I thought, you know what, I've never seen an impersonator in Pensacola, so I'd pretty much have a monopoly if I just did it there. So, you know, what I did, when I got back home, and I bought some drumsticks, and I just went out and started standing in front of the singer. Some people think it's just easy for me to wake up and look like Aaron, but, uh, you know, I, it really is a lot of work. I'll just, I'll stand in front of the mirror for hours a day, just, you know, looking at myself I've got a picture of Aaron in, in the mirror so I can compare and I just you know it it's just it's a lot of work learning you know facial expressions that he does so yeah it's really not easy like you have to re physically train yourself a lot um you know I do a lot of push-ups and sit-ups and I, I actually did lose a lot of weight in the process of trying to look like Aaron I just really hope that Aaron doesn't gain weight, cause I, yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's been a really challenging first year. You know, the town doesn't really seem to know about him as much as I thought they would, but uh, they don't really support it very much at all. Actually, they just don't seem to understand the vision. Um, my roommate has been pretty cool though. Uh, he's really supportive of me, and I really, you know, I, I don't know where I'd be without him. Um, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been tough. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I mean, we've been friends for a while, so I mean, I I try to look past it, but I'm I'm having to cover his rent. It's just, you know, it's wearing me out. I can't, I can't, I can't handle, you know, someone. I I, I try, I, I do my best to look past it. Well, I mean, we've been friends, you know, since I, we were like five. I mean, we've been buds, but I mean, this is getting a little ridiculous. I, I can't, I can't seem to, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't understand that this really just isn't working. My parents, they, uh, they cut off communication with me though. Um, that gets really hard sometimes because I'll try to, you know, call somebody just, you know, vent to if I have a bad day on the street. Um, you know, get in a fight with some bum or something. It just, you know, bad stuff happens out there, and sometimes I just need someone to talk to. And, you know, parents are really important in your life, and not having them to talk to is, it really gets to you sometimes. Um, my girlfriend also cut off communication with me. Um, you know, she, I think I, so my friend told me that she, found somebody else and that she's happy and I, I, I really hope you're happy um, his parents stopped talking to him uh, his girlfriend Abby left him he's got no friends I feel like I'm like the only one who's really trying to hang on but it's oh it's, it's rough that's why I'm here you're making a documentary about him he's a f Loser, that's why I dumped him. I'm not doing this. Yeah, uh, you'd be surprised that the people I've met out there, um, you know, there, there actually are some pretty cool people that hang out downtown. Um, it gets pretty frustrating sometimes because they confuse me for one of them a lot, and uh, you know, I'm here trying to do something, I'm trying to better Pensacola, but they just they they just don't understand the vision and they just keep trying to invite me to all their stuff and I'm just you know I'm Aaron Gillespie and they just don't see that like I do um but you know 
I thought I'd be making more money too, because I saw just all the cash that the tourists were giving out in Hollywood, but apparently, they're those were just tips, and you can't really charge for stuff. And sometimes the police just don't seem to see the the same way that I do. But I mean, we're working through that. Uh, you know, so that's basically my life. It's had its ups and downs, but I'm following my dreams, and that's really what life's about, right? <laughs>